and the level of difficulty of performances. Take a look at that board right there. Those coil springs make that board just a little bit hotter than they did in the old days. And in fact, even the balance beam itself is spring-loaded. But it almost makes you wonder if the equipment is progressing and evolving faster than the gymnasts are. Well, I think it's a combination of two things. I think the athletes are stronger and better athletes than they were when we were competing, and also the evolution of the equipment allows them to do more complicated and difficult skills. Aminar has never won a major international all-around title. Twice she was a silver medalist in the all-around at the Worlds, and she was a bronze medalist at the Olympics in Atlanta. She needs better than a 9.632 to pass Horkina for first place here in the all-around. Russia's economy plotting right now and a lot of empty seats as a result. Bart, does that affect the gymnasts? Well, I think it is difficult for the gymnasts because they know this is one of the most prestigious all-around titles you can win in the world, and yet there's so few people here to see them, it's very disappointing for the athletes. Aminar, very well known for her explosive acrobatic work, like this tumbling sequence coming up here for the dismount. Two back handsprings to a double back. Not bad. Mm. 